maze. It's amazing. It's a terrible joke. That's like John Bowman level. Morning everyone. We are on the maze cart today. We're not at Northwick. We're with, uh, with Abby's family doing their maize harvest. Just pulled into the first field of the morning. So we're just following Ben with our trailer. He's um, doing the outside round of the second field. We haven't cut the first one yet. We're just doing the outside rounds of a couple fields um, to start off with. Because um, we're short of one driver to start. So we do the outside rounds whilst we're short. Um, and then when everyone's here, carry on properly. Yeah, he just got the trailer hooked on the back of the forager. And then when he decides he's full, he will cut out a piece and back back. And we can slip in beside him and pick up the trailer. So, first proper load, sitting beside the forager. I need to uh, take the shoe off the trailer if we finish everything up the obstacles. All I can hear is bang, 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 bang. Are you guys still alive? You guys are still alive. Good. Very good. If I turn you guys around, yeah, you might be able to see. Maze harvest. Today is the 29th of September. It's supposed to be the last day of good weather for a while. So I think they're going to crack on and get as much maize done as they can today. Still got a fair bit to do. I'm not sure where it's all going to go though, because it's not a lot of pit space. Perhaps that's a worry for another time. Worry about that when we run out of this space. Forager says no. And forager says yes again. Go back facing the other way again. Take it home. Right, turn out the 
waiting for the uh, other trailer to come back. Hammond Deep Group, anyone that's wondering. Back around the corner here of the shed. See the hand is on the pit, so shouldn't be anyone coming near us. brakes are so sharp on these trailers that if you just touch them whilst you're going backwards, oh, rocks you like that. That one up. Go open the back door. Which stops the trailer tipping. And the trailer will resume tipping. First tipped, trailer into float, four wheel drive off, have to go around the corner, put the tailboard down, near the bang, that means that one's down, and then back down to the yard to turn around. These are very nice trailers, these are big wide tyres, uh, somebody's here from Arna or something. Da, 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 da. I want to hit a nice new car. It's always a nerve wracking moment, isn't it, when your girlfriend's dad's watching you with one of his machines. You don't want to do anything wrong. I did rub the drawbar slightly, but it's a tight yard to turn in, and I'd rather rub the drawbar than hit a discovery, so what do you do? Right, field number two. Here's a go. Keep the forward for that. Someone's out for me. We are back up to three people now. Gary's back in his trailer. Pops is back on the pit. So, uh, hopefully, we'll skate on through a good chunk of this today. Forager says no. Refusal. Absolutely no idea where we were the forager there, what went wrong. The, um, ben said the whole thing just stopped, cut out, engine and everything. And, uh, we were assuming that then it would have been choked up and it had stopped. And it wasn't, which is bizarre. So, uh, made sure it was all clear and turned the key back on and it started up again, so, I don't know. So, for those of you that are wondering, we are in a massive Ferguson 6480. Turned the fan on auto accidentally. My bad. Massive Ferguson 
680 is a Dyna 6, so it's got um, A through to F uh, on the power shift. So, um, this is Benjamin's tractor. So Ben's in the Forger today. Normally if he's in a tractor, he's in this one. And then all the trailers are the same. They're all uh, NC, I think they're 14 ton trailers. Got the lovely white tires on them. Look the part, do the part, they travel really well. The brakes are incredibly sharp. Which is a good thing when you need to stop quickly. And the Forager, if I'm not mistaken, is a class Jaguar 840. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think it's an 840. It's on a P reg. Still puts out a lot of fodder through it. Gonna pass Gary somewhere. He's in a 7718, which is Pops's tractor. Pops is Abby's dad. He's on the pit at the moment in the JCB. Then Andrew is in the 6475 that he drives. So it's an all red affair. Tractor front. A bit late on getting my camera out, I'm afraid. He might want room to come backwards in a minute. Uh... Silage drink update. When I left them, they were broken down. The, uh, something electrical with the forager. Every time Ben tried to put the header in drive, he would pop a fuse. So, couldn't figure it out. Just in Ruby. Couldn't get it going, so I think he called a mechanic out in the end. So we'll go and find out whether they've managed to get going or not. Well, ladies and gents, a bit of a sad end to the day. What we thought, or what I thought would be a good two videos worth of content from today, has uh, been cut short. The forage has been broken down for a couple of hours now, and uh, they still haven't quite fixed it. It's, it's nearly seven o'clock. By the time they get it going, it'll be dark. So we decided to just sheet the pits down and call it a day. So, uh, so we've just done that, put the sheets on the two pits and we done. And just taking the trailer back to the other farm. Uh, picking up the car, that's over there. And that'll be it. So I was hoping to get a load more footage of the forager and on the pit, rolling and whatnot, but uh, just wasn't to be, I'm afraid. But I'm sure there'll be another time. We'll get some footage elsewhere. So thank you for watching the video everyone. Remember if you want to support the channel the best thing to do is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. That would be splendid if you could do that. And uh, hopefully we'll get to do maize harvest again at some point. For now, I'm afraid that is it. So, uh, thank you everyone. See you on another video very soon. Put it down behind Andrews. In it. Oh.